This one that takes a bit of a bottom edge, and uh, Murtaza will make his first run of the tournament, and he's off the mark, off the first delivery. That'll do his nerve some good. Got an awful lot of quality himself. This one's just uh, played over the top. It's going to go to backwards point, oh, and nice. uh, four runs indeed. That was a uh, very well played by Maron Khan. Just went a bit too short and wide on that occasion, Pungal. It's a good ball again by Pungal, but it's well so played. beautifully played by Maron Khan. Beautiful. Just rocked back on the back foot and just ease it towards third man and pick that gap. That was a brilliant shot. That's a beautiful sh cricket shot. Just waiting for this ball. Shot. What a cricket shot. Beautiful. Through extra cover for four. Beautiful cricket shot again. Now this one takes a bit of an inside edge and it's just going to trickle away behind gonna square leg. It certainly will. It's going to race away for four and that's a uh, Bit of a streakish boundary, uh, not what Pankaj Pervesh would have wanted. Just this one's shot. well struck by Mehran Khan, wow. absolutely shot. <laughs> that goes straight in the Beautiful. goal post, so it's a six and a goal for Mehran Khan as uh, this one's just deposited straight to a deep extra cover. Brilliant stroke. This one's high Beautiful. up in the air. Is this one going to go for the boundary rope? I think it's just going to take a few bounces and it's gone for four, so it gets from... Goes from bad to worse for Pankaj Pervesh. This over is already ballooned to. This one's a low full toss and oh. Sora Pungal. Ah, oh, the big fast bowler. Got to sympathize with a big fast bowler trying to reach down the stop. That one. Sort of target which M Doc should set. Oh, stop it. Well, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can resume once again as. Aaron Khan will come oh back in this one. Well, good luck spotting that little white ball in that huge. dark night sky. Absolutely. That is huge. That was huge. It was uh, clubbed by Mehran Khan beyond the boundary rope for a six, and he's looking absolutely scintillating. And that's just going to trickle over the boundary rope for a four, so that was played nicely off the pads by Gulam Murtaza. Goes for the big shot, Mehran Khan. Good Is shot. he going to pierce the gap? Gaurav Sagwan there to cut it out. Nice bit of footwork. Well, some of that uh, footwork would have uh, impressed a few football players as well, but nice work there by Sagwan. Ooh. What a shot. He's absolutely smoked that what one. Shot. And it's going to go uh, right over the boundary rope and hit the six. base of that floodlight, and it's been signaled to six. It's the third one for Mehran Khan. There's Mehran Khan. He'll push well this one away. And that's very well played, and that'll also bring push, up his half push. century. Yes, this and is And he I mean. tries to push, but it's the one of the more casual little pushes. Oh, and Mehran Khan times it that cleanly and finds the gap. Well, that'll bring up his 50. Well played, Mehran Khan. <laughs> As uh, this one is popped up in the air. Sh could be a catching opportunity, oh. not really. Ashish Srivastava will take an almighty tumble. Mufflons are on track for that. Uh, that's a good shot, good fielding as well. Oh, they missed the run out. Yeah, that was a very, very good run out opportunity. And I feel if Pritaj Dale was there, he uh, might have been able to get that one. I can just imagine how Dale is feeling at home watching this. Must be really annoyed. Must be itching to get out there on the field, but oh, unfortunately, orthodox. Uh, it is really difficult as we see it go over fine leg again. Six. One's a very well played by Murta. Nice. nice depth stroke, beautiful, and uh, Boris clearly appreciates that. How good is it when? Absolutely. Shot. Absolutely it smoked again. it. Certainly is, and that's a brilliant shot. He's absolutely smoked that one behind square leg for a six, and that is a beautiful shot. Oh, as he hits it, you gotta catch that. Oh, another drop. Yeah, I wanted to go back to this point again because it is really difficult if you get hit for, for so many runs in so less overs and it's not going your way, obviously. But whenever there is a chance, you have to take it to get that momentum back. This is another half Straight chance again. there. It's oh, the same that is a good effort though. That's certainly is. That has been the toughest one yet for stock ball. Oh, and that's a bit unlucky for the bowler. And that will just trickle over the boundary over a four, so. This one once again helps over fine leg, so it's a similar shot with a very similar outcome. <laughs> Where do M Docs go from here? And he comes for the final ball of the penultimate over. Goes for a fuller hey. ball, and finally, something to cheer about for M Docs. They pick up their first wicket of this match, and it's been a long wait for them. The last ball of the penultimate over, 
And Gulam Murtaza, even though he didn't go at the highest strike rate, he played a good supporting role to Mehran Khan. As we see Thadani come for the final over. This one's well struck by Mehran Khan. It's high up in the air. Might collect some stardust on the way down, and it's going to clear the boundary rope, or will it? I think I saw a puff of dust just before it hit that boundary rope, and four it's been runs. given a four, yeah. Ooh, oh, that's a... Yeah, no question. Stuff. That's a... Oh, he's going for the run out. Oh. And he's just compounded MDOX's misery even more. That one's just going to trickle over the boundary rope, and... Uh, well, they went for the throw, tried to run out. Mehran Khan, I believe, or was it Zishan Sarwar? And in the end, it didn't work as Ashish Srivastava wasn't able to back his bowler up particularly well. We'll take another look at that one. And now he's got one ball left, and Zishan Sarwar will face this. How will the Muflons round out this innings? And this one's uh, taking a thickish outside edge. We'll go to Girdhar Singh, and they'll finally take catch. a catch. This MDOX Cricket Club, they've put down way too many of them, and... That will bring this innings to a close. It was an absolutely dominant performance once again by the Cy Cypress Mofalons. What did you make of that batting? Really impressed by Maron Khan there. Really proper T10 innings that. Yes, he got a bit lucky. Gave a bit of a couple opportunities away. shots as much as he can. And they have to make use of their three over power play. So it's played straight back to Yamin by Pankaj Pervesha. Good first ball by Murtaza Yamin. Spinning outside leg stump. He's gonna make some room. Good shot. This will just a uh, beautiful shot. MDOX need a big over here. And that is a really good start of the over for them. Four of the first one. Pervesha is off to nine of six. This one's struck wow. much harder. What a stroke. This one's going deep in the night sky and well over the cabin. This is the first big one we've seen by MDOX today. And you have to ball it full if you ball with this field. Oh, and again, down leg. This one going oh. down the leg side. I think it came off the pad, and that's going to be another four. So a big blow to end the over. For the Cyprus Mufflons, that over went for 10 runs until that ball, but that'll make it 14. This one's hit straight by Pankaj Pervesh. He'll go Beautiful. over the boundary rope. And he'll hit the base of the camera tower, and that'll go for six. That is some clean hitting. Straight up. Chance. Oh, a, almost a collision. They're going to come back for the third. Chance for a run out. Good running this. Great running. Yeah, certainly is good running between the wickets. And uh, that's what the doctor ordered for MDOX. Uh, that was uh, an opportunity there for Cypress Muffins. And they failed to take it. Short and another boundary. Four runs. And look at these two sides. They're at a very similar at this stage. Oh, oh he's cleaned them up. What, what an impact. A ball. Massive moment in the context of this match. Just take a look at this ball. Oh, brilliant. Bit of a beautiful. Bit of a, an off an outswinger in a sense by Look Winder Singh. And it just hits that base of those stumps. A brilliant Yorker. And Chete Shah is absolutely bamboozled by that one. It struck his stumps. Gonna go for here. the boundary and he gets it. He gets another four. So 19 of it. Well, it's just struck away. And that's gonna be four of the first ball again. First game with his bowling. Parvej, what a shot. Beautiful. Four runs. Another boundary this over. 40 for 20 and has all sorts of MDOX hopes pinned on him. This one's a nice oh, shot again. again. This one's going to go huge. to the cabin. Six. What a shot. Yeah. Parfait is looking really good here. So impressive. Shit, if it comes here. Don't worry. As he goes again, he goes straight this time. Straight in the hands. 
And that is an absolutely massive catch in the context of this match. Gorsevich seeing a man with hands like buckets holds onto that one. And this is a huge blow because once again, Gorsevich Singh takes another important catch. It seems like every single important catch in these matches always comes to him. And Pankaj Pervesh fought valiantly. He continued to fight and he gave MDOX a chance. Climbing up towards that 15 again, where they were at 12 and a half. Well bold, nice and straight. And given out, LBW. Oh, certainly was. Uh, well, not many of us thought there was a an LBW chance over there, and you didn't even see the most uh, animated appeals from the Cypress Mufflons when it's been given an LBW. Make use of it. Oh, and another one. This is some over by Wakar Ali, and he's on a hat trick, but of course he doesn't have any balls left, so he can't deliver his hat trick ball. And Winot Salvan, quack quack has to walk off having made a golden duck there really isn't a crueler feeling as a batsman some boundaries here this one's a struck oh, well by Sora Pungal beautiful shot just not full enough from the bowler Match. Now this one's high up in the air. This one's gone deep in the night sky. Abu Sufyan is right underneath it. Good and he'll catch. take a catch off his own bowling. Good, Good catch, catch indeed. And that will put Vimal Kanduri's innings to an end. Kanduri really wanted to be the aggressor to take MDOX over the line. But unfortunately, he just couldn't quite do it. He couldn't quite follow up Pankaj Pervesh's act. And in the end, he has to depart. The pressure getting to him. And Sufyan will happily take that catch. And that should be a good match. As we take a look at this last delivery, and this one is uh, just about stroked away. I think it'll trickle over the boundary rope, but this game is in the history books as Hitesh Sudani will be there to collect the ball. But uh, that's a bit of a dejected look, but MDOC should be really proud of themselves in this match. They put on a valiant effort, a much better response than in the first match. And this game, well, at one stage, the Cypress Mufflons looked in real trouble, but they held their nerve and showed their championship quality in the last three overs and experience managed to beat the MDOX Great Club and well they'll be back playing the Nicosia Tigers in a week's time but before that let's take a look at the highlights.